let's stand and worship together. come and we bow our knees to the Lamb of Glory who was sent from heaven to earth. We will worship the Lamb of Glory. We will worship the King of Kings. We will worship the Lamb of Sky, when 
because we are here to love on our king. I'm going to do things a little differently, so I'm going to ask the ushers to come on forward here. We're going to take up the offering way early in the service, and that's all right. And while we're doing that, we're going to sing here in just a moment. But I just want you to know that we're gathered here because God chose to send his son to be the perfect and we celebrate that time together. So we're going to pray, and we're going to sing again, and the little ones are going to come out on stage here in just a second, and you're going to be blessed, I promise you, by every portion of this service. And we want you to participate. This is not just for you to watch, but it's for you to experience and be a part of. Let's pray. Father, we thank you so much that you did choose to send your son. He came as a baby, grew to be a man, and he died on the cross for us. But he is the reason we're here today. We are here as family. We're here as the body of Christ. And Father, we proclaim with the angels glory in the highest. Father, come and worship. We want to come and worship. We're here today to do just that. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
mind about giving words the word. If the word was gone, the word became flesh. You are our God. The word of the Lord. Then a shoot will grow up from the stump of Jesse, and a branch from its roots will bear fruit. The spirit of Yahweh will rest on him, a spirit of wisdom and understanding, a spirit of counsel and strength, a spirit of knowledge and of the fear of Yahweh. His delight will be in the fear of Yahweh. 
He will not judge by what he sees with his eyes. He will not execute justice by what he hears with his ears. But he will judge the poor righteously and execute justice for the oppressed of the land. He will strike the land with discipline from his mouth. And he will kill the wicked with a command from his lips. Righteousness will be a belt around his loins. Faithfulness will be a belt around his waist. The wolf will live with the lamb. And the leopard will lie down with the goat. The calf, the young lion, the fatling will be together and a child will lead them. The cow and the bear will graze, their young ones will lie down together, and the lion will eat straw like the ox. An infant will play beside the cobra's pit, and a toddler will put his hand into a snake's den. None will harm or destroy another on my entire holy mountain, for the land will be as full of the knowledge of the Lord as the sea is filled with water. And on that day, the root of Jesse will stand as a banner for the peoples. The nations will seek him, and his resting place will be glorious." The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. A light has dawned on those living in the land of darkness. You have enlarged the nation and increased its joy. The people have rejoiced before you as they rejoiced at harvest time and as they rejoice when dividing spoils. For you have shattered their oppressive yoke and the rod on their shoulders, the staff of their oppressor, just as you did on the day of Midian. For the trampling boot of battle and the bloodied garments of war will be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child will be born for us, a son will be given to us, and the government will be on his shoulders. He will be named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Father, Prince of Peace. The dominion will be vast, and its prosperity will never end.
In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that the whole empire should be registered. This first registration took place while Quirinius was governing Syria. So everyone went to be registered, each to his own town. And Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and the family line of David, to be registered along with Mary, who was engaged to him and was pregnant. While they were there, the time came for her to give birth. Then she gave birth to her firstborn son, and she wrapped him, in, wrapped him snugly in cloth and laid him in a feeding trough, because there was no room for them at the lodging place.
Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to wake you. I only wanted to see that you and your folks were warm. I see that all is well. Your parents are sleeping, but you're wide awake. I'd like to apologize for this stable. Had I known, I would have given you our room. You see, Bethlehem's been so busy the past few days. When your parents asked for a place to stay, this is all I had left. I hope you'll forgive me. Oh, this is my wife, Sarah. We brought your parents some bread and cheese. But like Simon said, not until we talked to the shepherds and saw the bright star shining overhead did we have any idea what was happening. We have long awaited a coming Messiah. But to be completely honest with you, we didn't expect him to be born among the sheep and oxen. Sarah? I'm sorry. It's just this stable is really no place for a child like you to be born. This world is no place for a child like you to be born. But apparently that's why you're here, huh? You're to be the Messiah. We expected you to be born in a temple or a palace, but to think that you came to us right here in our own backyard. Who knew? Sarah, let me tell you a few things you may want to know about this world. We're in a real bad way right now. There's so much hatred and despair. Everyone's doing what they want, thumbing their nose at God. And I'm afraid we have all behaved very badly. Even as much as we try to obey the law, Simon and I break it most of the time. Sarah! We do. What can I say? <sighs> My wife is right. We need someone to lead us, to redeem us. But that's why you've come. Little one, if you're the promised one, you sure picked a strange way to make your appearance. Simon! It's just that you'll have so much to overcome. There's already so much going against you. But I'm sure you have a plan. For some reason, standing here in this damp and dirty stable, taking in your humble beginnings, I don't feel that your plan will be what we imagined. May Simon and I be faithful to follow you wherever you lead us. We must go now. Sleep well and may God the Father be with you. Welcome to our world, little child.
Okay, now it's your turn. You can sing a little bit. We're going to let the youth get off stage and do their thing. It is such a great privilege to be in the house of God together as family and to sing, Oh, come let us adore him, because that's what we're called to do. And the songs of Christmas, the songs of this season, really are those kind of things that we reflect upon and just really strike at the heart of our emotions and the heart of what goes on in our church. You know, Christmas and Easter are the big days for us, okay? But without Christmas, there would be no Easter. And without Easter, there would be no us. So we're going to sing a little bit. Let's sing away in the manger together.
Awake in a manger, no creep for a bed. The little Lord Jesus laid down his sweet head. The stars in the sky looked down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep.
You are the word, you are the light. Shining in the darkest night. Jesus, full of grace and truth. Jesus, we will worship you.
because um, you forced our members that sit in certain places to have to move. <laughs> I really like that. I was asked by a young man this past week uh, what my 10-year goal for worship at Cedar Heights Baptist Church is. And I thought that was an interesting question. I've never been asked a question quite like that before. A 10-year goal for worship. And I, I thought a lot about that. And uh, I didn't put it this way, but I thought, you know, at Cedar Heights, uh, one of the great missions that we feel, one of the great um, purposes that we give ourselves to is to train worshipers of Jesus Christ. I think we see this here today from preschool, children, youth, through adults. In many ways, the, uh, the whole educational purpose of this church is to train and to be worshipers of Jesus Christ. I'd just like to read a few verses here this morning from the Gospel of John, chapter 1, about this Jesus Christ that we worship. And I would like to invite you, um, if you're not an active worshiper of Jesus Christ, if that's not a daily part of your life and experience, you're, you're missing <laughs> what you were created for. John chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him not anything made was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness to bear witness of the light that all men through him might believe. He was not the light but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world and the world was made by him and the world knew him not. One of the saddest verses in all the word of God. He was in the world, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. Did you hear that? He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But, but as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, which are born not of blood, nor the will of the flesh, nor the will of man, but of God. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Because of what God has done through his son Jesus, there is joy. Sometimes we can't see it, but there is joy. And there's joy in this world. And heaven is coming down to this world one of these days. But we're going to rejoice together that God did what he said he would do and he sent us a deliverer. Let's stand and sing joy to the world.
do this. The kids have worked hard. Uh, the youth, that we should have stopped back there because that was so powerful. But we want to say to you that Jesus is the word. Jesus is the only word. And we're going to sing to you this blessing. And we want you to have a good time with us. And when we're done, you can go home and be with your family. But remember, we're all here because Jesus made it possible for us to be here. Amen. Let's do this. Mary was his mother, and Joseph was his earthly father. 